Hello everyone, it's Dr. Stuart Allen Swordlow. And Janet Diane Moya Swordlow. And this is the Expansions News video. I decided to call it video instead of a vlog or a podcast. So it's a like new podcast. news video. It's not a podcast, it's a video. Uh, for the last week of December 2020. And uh, we hope that you had very nice holidays. Um, and we wish you also a very happy new year. Uh, we'll see them again. Up. Then. No, we'll not. Yeah. And uh, also, um, will we? I don't know. I thought a week from today is uh, after New Year's. Yeah, maybe you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so no, we won't see. Don't pay any attention to the woman in the violet uh, sweater. Where? Um, and, uh, you know, and we had, we had our white Christmas. Oh, that's very nice. It was nice. a very, very white Christmas. We had very heavy snow. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. The dogs were so happy. Yeah, and we actually had some neighborhood people come and snow blow for us, but the snow was so deep that it was over the snow blower. So I had to fix it up this morning. Mm -hmm. And But the, it was so stuck to the driveway, I couldn't get most of the ice and snow off. So we just have to deal with that till May comes around. And so I have my first story it's mostly for Americans, so everybody else go away. So for Americans, you have been betrayed by your Congress um, because the Senate had ear earmarked 900 billion for COVID relief for American citizens, but Democrats put 1.4 trillion in aid to foreign countries. And this is considered by many people to be a criminal act uh, by the New World Order. And uh, if we don't fix this and stop this kind of insanity going on, I'm afraid the United States, America is lost forever and for all time. And that's sadly the truth. Things are not looking very favorable. Uh, for example, what did the Democrats put in this COVID relief bill that was supposed to give uh, people money? By the way, it, it gave American citizens $600. Okay, we've been on lockdown for nine months. And six hundred dollars are going to solve everything? Mm -hmm. No, maybe six thousand, six sixty thousand, not six, not six hundred dollars. But guess what? If you're an illegal alien who is who snuck into the United States, you get eighteen hundred. I don't understand that at yeah, all. Yeah, nobody understands that. So we decided, sense. Janet and I, we're giving up our American citizenship. We're going to stick back into the United States and we will both get $1,800. I think that's the best thing to yeah, do. That would give us $3,600. And then we could keep sneaking back in and in, like we keep voting over and over, and we keep getting $1,800. It makes, it makes perfect sense to me. But included in this bill is uh, almost $170 million to Vietnam, which includes $19 million to remediate dioxins. But you know Trump did veto this. Yes, yeah, so I'm just telling you what they're trying to do. Uh, also, unspecified aids to uh, non-for-profit institutions of higher education in Kabul, Afghanistan, because that's very important. Almost $200 million to Bangladesh, some of which is to support Burmese refugees and democracy programs. How about democracy in the United States? $130 million to Nepal for development and democratic or democracy programs. Pakistan gets 15 million for democracy programs and 10 million for gender programs. What does that mean? Sri Lanka, 15 million to refurbish a high endurance cutter, which is a kind of patrol boat. Uh, 506 million to Belize, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Panama to quote, address key factors that contribute to the migration of unaccompanied, undocumented minors to the United States, unquote. Well, guess what? I could tell you that for free. The key factor is just what? George Soros. That's the one and only key factor, okay? So maybe give me some of that 506 million since oh, I told you the answer. So ridiculous. I told them the answer. I want some of that money. Now, how about 461 million to Colombia uh, for related to counter narcotics and human rights. 75 million to the Caribbean Basin Security Initiative because they're always in danger in the Caribbean. 33 million for democracy programs of Venezuela. Yeah, uh, how about Dominion? That must have cost about 33 million. Let's pay Venezuela back for that. 
and an unspecified amount to Colombia, Peru, Ecuador, Curaçao, and Trinidad Tobago for assistance for communities and countries supporting or otherwise impacted by refugees from Venezuela. <laughs> How about just don't let them in? Just How about don't let it. the Venezuelans in and overthrow their government and they can stay home? How about that one? I just don't understand this whole thing. No one does. And $132 million for assistance to the Republic of Georgia, no specification there, and $450 million for assistance to Ukraine because they need money to pay Biden more. Yeah, so I was just so exactly that they want to give Ukraine money so they can pay Biden family more money. Right. Makes total sense to me. Um, and so basically the situation is that last year United States brought in 3.3 trillion dollars and spent 6.6 .6 trillion dollars. <laughs> I wonder if it's all on their credit card. They, they must have an American Express card. They just, oh, just put it on there. That's probably what they did. So the Democrats would do more of this and they are going to do more than this if God forbid Biden gets into office, which... I'm going to say something at the end about that one. Now, another. Now, the next news goes to our Canadian listeners. Um, so, okay, Americans, now you can turn it up. And now this is uh, Canadians, A, turn it up. Because guess what? There's a video that has appeared um, that is a Chinese state propaganda video from last year's Military World Games. And guess where? Wuhan, China. And you know what it shows? The Canadian Armed Forces, guess what they did? It's not going to make, make you happy, uh, Canadian people. The Canadian uh, contingent at the Games, representing Canada and its military, were ordered by superiors to salute the communist dictator of China, Xi Jinping. And this broke with Canada's traditional allies, including the United States, France, and other NATO countries, Canada's allies refused to salute the dais where she was observing the pageantry at the 70th CISM Military World Games. The United States, Germany, South Korea, Finland, France, Greece, and other countries snubbed the dictator. And, um, of course, uh, the government of Canada just volunteered to just... Hi, old she. Australia didn't salute the president, and they refused to march at all. Good for you, Australia, even though you have some ridiculous lockdowns there. And even Iran wouldn't salute Xi, because he's not Muslim. That's why. So Canada honored the Chinese tyrant in the exact manner as the North Koreans, who were um, saluting and cheering as they went past Xi. Now, understanding the significance of the gesture can you think of any reason why Canada would salute this Chinese dictator? It reminds everyone of the 1936 Olympic Games in Germany when nations went to the Nazi uh, government uh, games and saluted Hitler. Um, of course, the only difference is that um, they were unaware of the Holocaust that would be taking place in a few years. But the difference now is that China is already running concentration camps, but Canada doesn't care. So again, again I'm saying to you Canadians, rise up and depose Justin Castro before it's too late. I hope it's not already too late. Now, to the Pacific Basin. There's been a swarm of thousands of tiny earthquakes deep under Washington State, Oregon, and British Columbia that began this past October 2020. And they're happening 40 to 60 miles deep, about 100 kilometers underneath the ground, uh, where the oceanic Juan de Fuca plate moves towards the North American plate. And these are called silent quakes, which are now being found around the world, mostly where the crustal plates forming ocean floors are pushing under the continental crust. Now, um, that's called a subduction. Um, and if the lower end of the plate moves quietly unnoticed, the descending ocean plate is not as pliable as it gets closer to the surface. And then it gets locked and it releases energy that gets built up when the continental plate can't hold back the 
oceanically. So this lock breaks in a giant earthquake and the last time a gigantic one happened was in 1700 under Washington State and much of the West Coast was, uh, that was in January 1700, um, that's called the Cascadia Subduction Zone and it runs from Northern California through Oregon, Washington and just off of Vancouver Island, British Columbia. And it may indicate that the next big earthquake is on the horizon and it is also possible that the slip or the, what they call slow slip events will become larger or more frequent when a large earthquake is imminent. A megaquake along the Cascadia subduction zone is overdue and could erupt at any time. So be prepared, have an earthquake plan, and quite honestly, you're not going to have time to escape. Especially if the volcano, if Mount Rainier goes off and there's a lahar, which goes 300 miles an hour, goodbye. So sad. It's very sad. And they do have other information, but I'll wait till the end. All right. So I just wanted to remind everybody that January 6th is when they count the electoral votes. And interestingly enough, for some unknown reason, the president wants everybody in D.C. Yeah, I'll talk about that. And uh, what I saw on the internet, it looks like the hotels are filling. Really? So, yeah. So, I thought they have the social socialism distance well, they might. and they can't fill the hotels. Well, they might be, but for what the rooms they have, most of them are filled already. So oh, that's interesting. it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Mm -hmm. And Representative Lance Gooden, Republican Texas, wrote a letter to Senators Ted Cruz, Republican Texas, and ja John Cornyn, Republican Texas, that said, I intend to object to the certification of the Electoral College vote submissions on January 6th and I respectfully ask you to stand with me. Now, neither Cornyn nor Cruz have publicly said whether they would challenge the votes. And the process requires one House representative and one senator. And Gooden went on to say there needs to be a full audit of every ballot in states like Georgia, Arizona, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, and added that there's widespread reports of fraud and irregularities reported. Yes, but Kristen News said there's no evidence at all of fraud. So if the audit isn't completed, Gooden argued that Congress would be doing the country a disservice by certifying the Electoral College results. Right. It's not fraud that 10,000 dead people voted in Michigan. Of course that's not fraud. No, or well, that 140,000 people from born during the Civil War voted in Pennsylvania. Well, now you're getting the, the How drift. could that be fraud? It's not fraud. So far, there have been no senators who have publicly committed to challenging a state's results. Senator Rand Paul, Republican Kentucky, suggested he might... Senator-elect Tommy Tuberville, Tommy Tuberville, Tommy Repu Tuber. Sounds like a cartoon Tuberville character Republican name. Alabama has said the same. Representative Mo Brooks, Republican Alabama, is the House leader who is leading the effort to challenge the Electoral College votes. So other than the fraud allegations and irregularities, Gooden also said that this involves foreign countries, tech companies, and Democrats who work together against Trump and his supporters. Now, speaking of odd things that happen. Why are you looking at me like the odd things? Because you were talking about what um, was in that supposed stimulus bill that Trump did veto mm. and they're working on that again of course. Please don't even hold your breath. They go, oh you're going to get this much, you're going to get nothing. So apparently every year Senator Rand Paul does an annual taxpayer waste report. Did you see that one? No. So apparently this year he said that the, he, oh 2020 I'll say, he claims that the federal government wasted almost 50 five billion dollars of taxpayer money you think and this involved uh, studies of whether people would eat bugs funding art classes in kenya and fighting truancy in the philippines okay listen to me i will tell you right now that most people will not eat bugs i will teach the class in kenya mm -hmm. and the philippines what was that truancy kids truancy. Not going i'll to go school. after the kids i'll do that for maybe 10 million yeah, do it okay this is well, i'm saving them a lot of money so apparently, what, to get, put everything in perspective, said this money is enough to build a two-lane road that would wrap around the entire earth hmm. 18 times, 18 times, mm -hmm. and enough money to buy every American, like we would want it, a 40-inch flat-screen television. No, I want to become an illegal alien and get all that money every month. Not only that, the National Institute of Health 
spent millions trying to invent a smart toilet, and also millions trying to reduce hookah smoking rates among Eastern Mediterranean youth. Mm -hmm. You know what? My toilet flushes, it's smart enough for me. And 31 and a half million to fund an allegedly faked study regarding linking e-cigarettes to heart attacks. They spent 8.6 billion on anti-drug efforts in Afghanistan. Hundreds of thousands went to art classes for Kenyans and Afghan and Pakistani book clubs and funding... They don't even read. Funding for Sri Lankan think tanks. Millions went They don't to, have think... No one have, thinks in Sri Lanka. Silly? Millions were spent to combat truancy in the Philippines. They also used taxpayer money, listen to this one, to put lizards on treadmills and study the results. Well, that would be like the Democrats, putting the Democrats on treadmills. The military allegedly lost $715 million worth of equipment intended for Syrians to use to fight ISIS. That doesn't exist anymore. $174 million went to lost drones in Afghanistan and a $3.1 million police complex that was never used. And they can't give me money? This is just incredible that the, because I think all the leaders of these companies are obviously getting money and oh, it's think? not going to the people. Yeah, what here. could go wrong with that? I mean if they're put fifty is a bill yeah, fifty five billion dollars and this is what we have to show like is nothing. Oh, for goodness sake. This is like you know, this I is I mean horrible. seriously. Is there a wonder why this world is effed up? Yes. I mean it's just crazy. Now New York well, that's them fighting words. New York. More residents, they could say, escaped New York over the last year than any other state. And if the numbers continue <laughs> to drop... What about California? If, as it says, if the numbers continue to drop, New York could lose a seat. They need to lose a whole bench. Which would be fewer seats even than Florida for the first time ever. Good. They deserve to lose everything. D.C. passes a bill to vaccinate children without parental knowledge and consent. The Minor Consent for Vaccinations Amendment Act permits children as young as 11 to consent to receive a vaccine, with all vaccine administrators cooperating to hide the record from parents. Now, this was a little confusing to me because it said the District of Columbia passed Bill 23-017 called the Minor Consent for Vaccinations Amendment. A minor consent. Yeah. But then it goes on at some point to say if it passes. So I'm not, I'm so unclear. So what's the age? 11. Oh, uh, what? 11 months old? Like 11, 11 years, days old? 11 years or older. Like, oh, did you do baby one in vaccine? Oh, thank you, Keita. Yes. It says that if it allows the child 11 years or older to consent to receive a vaccine where the vaccination is recommended by the United States Advisory Committee Listen, on Immunization an Practices. An eleven-year-old doesn't even know what clothes to wear every day, let alone consent to a vaccine. It also establishes that if a minor is able to comprehend the need for, the nature of, and any significant risks inherent in the medical care, then informed consent is established. This is eleven. This years is so old. ridiculous. And remember, a couple of weeks or so ago, I told you about the Nazis who did this, and that this is a war crime. Yes. This is a war crime to do this to our children. Everything going on in the government is a war crime and a crime against humanity and treason against Earth. Okay, listen to this. It requires insurance companies, school administrators, and medical personnel to conceal from parents that their child has been vaccinated. So this is the confusion. And this article says if the bill becomes law, there's a, something called the vaccine reaction said that it is clear that minor children will be at risk of being pressured and coerced into getting a COVID-19 vaccine behind their children's backs. This bill violates the National Childhood Vaccine Injury Act of 1986, which requires health care providers to supply parents or guardians with vaccine information from the CDC prior to administering the vaccine okay, to the okay, child. Stop right there. CDC is a criminal Chinese organization. Whatever they provide is useless. They also require, this bill, um, requires a, the healthcare provider to leave the part of the immunization record blank to conceal from the parents that their own child has been vaccinated. So they're not going to tell the parents what they do? No, and even the health insurance companies can't tell. They pay directly to whoever gave it. It's left blank on the child's health thing. So the parents would never know what that if, the child What the child told it? Hey, mom, they got injected today. Well, then if that was a parent, it's too late. But, you know, then they're going to say, well, this bill was passed. 
But interestingly enough, now of course things which you and I would already be thinking of, but critics say it could lead to double vaccination because the parent maybe then decides they want their child vaccinated, they don't know their child's been vaccinated, so the child gets vaccinated twice. Who thought of this? And if the child gets a serious allergic reaction, or which dies, we all know can happen, or dies, the parent isn't going to realize that this is an allergic reaction and of course or some the kind not going to say they did it. To the vaccine. So that could cause in some additional children deaths and other life So all you parents out there, what do you think about that? Are you going to just be quiet and do nothing? It also violates the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act called FERPA, which compels schools to conceal the vaccine status of children from their parents, while FERPA guarantees parents the right to have access to their children's education records, which includes health and vaccine records K through 12. So this is crazy. So I'm not sure if it's actually passed because it said it did in one section and then says if it passed. And, but whatever's going on there is crazy. You'll never know. In Phoenix, the homeless population has swelled above 7,500 people and they're living in tent cities in the downtown area. At least they can't freeze to death. And right now they're estimating about 600,000 Americans estimated to be homeless. In the meantime, they're sending all this money overseas and giving it to the illegal right. people. I mean, if you're homeless around here, you'd be frozen, you'd be dead in two minutes. It said more than 162,000 Americans have been evicted in 27 cities since the pandemic began. So, and funding for the homeless, guess what? It's not in that hundred dollars. You know what? They should billion. move to Bangladesh where they get billions of dollars. And it's warm there. And food on growing on the there trees. There you go. Now, because, you know, this is such an important thing that's going on here that we're talking about, in the middle of all of this, the University of Michigan, in its wisdom, its IT task force has banned words from use like picnic, brown bag, what? and blacklist. And because, even even because they're racist, even man and grandfather, yeah, and so they're banning native and sanity check. You can't say dummy; you have to say simple. Yeah, what's wrong with dummy? It has to be simple, I guess. And crippled, you have to say weakened. You can't say crazy; you have to say unthinkable. Yeah, but that means different things. And picnic, actually, it says here appears to be banned because of false suggestions on the internet, which I happen to see that it originates from the racist extrajudicial killings of African Americans, otherwise black. I don't understand that. The word picnic actually comes from the 17th century French word picnique, a term used to describe a social gathering in which attendees each contributed with a portion of food. Why is that a problem? Well, I'm going to, I'll tell you later what the picnic. I think I understand what that means. Okay, so when we won't, because that would, that would offend people here. It's stupid. And the woman's group. Or is that against, I can't say stupid because. No, you just have to say that simple. Offend, it's that simple. would offend stupid people. Yeah, you have to say simple. So a woman's professional development group at Georgia State University has have now provided 10 pronoun options, including male pronouns, for students on their membership application. So not only can they select he and him and they and she and her and all that, they can go they and them. I can't even say all these things, but co, co, cause, 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 self. What does that mean? N, ends, ends, and self. What does that mean? I, am, I, er, am, self, and Z, here, 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 self. That's for gender? This is gender. Yo, 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 self. I have a better way. <laughs> what if they just put like penis, po I'm penis positive? <laughs> that, that's, I like that. That would be a that good one. Work. Just, you know, PP, yeah. PP, I'm penis positive. Mm -hmm. Or I'm vag vaginal positive, yeah. VP. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And they also have Z, zero, 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 and V, 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 Now, get this one. Administrators at colleges across the U.S., have practices and policies to be more inclusive to 64 plus genders. 64 plus that is genders. That is beyond imbecilic, is, yes, imbecilic. moronic, yeah. and jerk. So the University of California now says they can be non-binary and they can live with, or they can give a lived name or preferred name. A lived name? Pers alongside their legal name. What is a lived name? Well, like for example, if your legal name is Stuart and you want to be called... Giraffe. Yeah. That would be your preferred name. <laughs> that would be my lived name? Yeah, your lived name. Ah, I see. Well, I'm going to be called Giraffe now. Giraffe's yeah, word. Well. This is a color for a giraffe. Mm -hmm. So, and this one you'll love because Buddha Air, did you read about this one? The, the Buddha Air plane flew the wrong direction in Nepal. They were supposed. And we're supposed to, to get that money. Yeah, that's what. The, yeah, so they can study. So this. they can go in the wrong direction. The Nepalese airline was supposed to fly south to Janakpur, but instead they went west 
to Pokhara. So and we read about this every once in a while. How, why does that happen? Because they hire more on pilots. Well, no, I mean because all the passengers know where they're going, and they announce sixteen well, times where the they're going. the passengers directing the plane. It's the freaking but pilot. But if they announce, you know, do you, you have your ticket because you know we're going to blah blah. So I don't understand that the plane. Go to the right place with the wrong passengers, no, no. or they go to the wrong place with the right passengers. I don't, I don't understand. It, it, it just is all wrong. And then, did you hear about a giant fireball spotted flashing across the sky in southern China? It's China. It says that footage shows the burning sphere exploding and plummeting into the countryside. Oh, you know what that is, don't you? It's a giant coronavirus. Yeah, that's it. So the local media suggested it was a bright meteor. But it did register on the earthquake scale. Apparently. Well, because it hit the ground, right? Well, but they don't tell what it is here. It just says that the China's earthquake authority mm -hmm. had seen it. So, mm -hmm. and then it went well, on. Maybe that came from column A, maybe. and they should have looked at column B. I think you're right. And local residents reported they had heard loud bangs, but the county government said it had heard of the matter, but it was unclear. Mm -hmm. So I thought that know, was everything in China is unclear. And now this one comes from the researchers from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the California Institute of Technology, and Santiago High School. Where the high school comes in, I don't know. But they did a new study, and it said that the Milky Way may be full of dead aliens oh, no. who were annihilated by their own science and technologies. Mm -hmm. And they're called humans. They said it shows aliens emerged 8 billion years after the Milky Way formed, and the reason we haven't made contact with them is because they're, they're dead. dead. You know <laughs> why? Because they died of coronavirus. This is NASA. I wonder how many, how many millions and billions did NASA spend And because this? none of them took the vaccine. That's right. It says, listen, this is so funny. If intelligent life is likely to destroy themselves, it is not surprising that there is little or no intelligent life elsewhere. And researchers... That's why there's no intelligent life on this planet. Researchers said if there's intelligent life... In the galaxy, they are still too young to be observed and too far right. from the Earth to be identified. Right. That's because, so crazy. Because that's what they say. If you want the truth about alien stuff, where we blue blood, true blood, this is the best book out there. This is one of our best sellers. It's out there for like 20 some years, I think. Hmm. And what else have we got going on? Oh, here? we have a whole bunch of and stuff. We got a whole bunch of stuff here. Yeah, so you know I what? Don't find just it deal all. with it. Go look it up. Yeah, go look it up. I'm Heights tired of telling you everything. Heights of Relationship, of course, is my newest book, and I have Heights of Wealth. Which will be out by the end of January. And there's a chapter about me. It's called "What Not to Do in a Relationship." <laughs> my picture. No, dear. The whole book is about you. What not to do yeah, in a relationship. That's basically. It. So if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have the damn book. Okay. okay? <laughs> and of course, we ever so. say no to mind control packages. We have, you know, where to begin. Because a lot of people say, "Oh, you have so much stuff." This is universal law. We have webinars. We have so much stuff free to our members. These webinars, three years worth, are free to our members on the member side, less than a dollar a day expansions.com just a, a couple of things I know that all of you want me to tell you about what my latest phone call this week with my contact was and quite honestly most of it was very personal to me and to this person but I will give you a question and I'm gonna write a blog about it I hope before New Year um, my question is what what would be if Trump didn't really want to be president what if he just didn't want it do you ever think of that? That's that's possible. Um, I'll leave you at that one. Um, and one other thing I can tell them is that everything that you see on Facebook, as you already know, and most of the internet, social uh, media, it's not true. It's military this, uh, uh, this one's arrested, that one is dead, this one's a clone. It's just a bunch of malarkey, okay? Just to keep you distracted it's from doing It's just a whole bunch work. of... And so please stop sending me articles and videos. Is this true? Is this true? Is this true? No, it's not. Nothing is true. And all the stuff on, on the YouTube, don't put your videos on YouTube comments because usually those are deleted. Don't put them in Messenger. You know, stop sending that. We've asked that billions mm -hmm. of times, and yes, mm -hmm. this does mean you. All I asked you for was gifts, not information, yes, okay? We have our own information. Source. Seriously. Um, now, um, new webinars starting in January on the Zohar and the Kabbalah. It's Those January 4th. No, I think it's the 6th. Oh, that's a big day, the 6th. Yeah, it's the first Wednesday mm -hmm. of the year. And then remember, if you're interested in our Oversoul Mastermind group, there's limited openings and 
So if you want to apply, you have to contact customer support at expansions.com immediately. Right. And people are writing to me. I don't know where they got my emails or text. It's like, uh, I need blah, blah, blah. Can you do it? I'm like, uh, don't ask me. Customer support at yeah. expansions.com. So if you want to be mm -hmm. a part of our Oversoul Mastermind group, you need to apply immediately because our first meeting for that, I believe, is January 10. But we are obviously oh, yeah. scrutinizing applications long before yeah. then. So We're scrutinizing a lot of stuff. So And um, the Turkish webinar is scheduled for January 8th. However, I'm not sure about the exact time because apparently... You know, every year, and I, how many how many years have I been working in Turkey? And uh, so, so you know, we turn the clocks back in um, the fall, right? Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? This year, Turkey decided not to turn their clocks back, and nobody freaking told me. So I was off in time wise with my consultation. Anyway, so I, so the the schedule is a certain time, but it may not be that time because that's not convenient for me, so we have to maybe change the time. Mm -hmm. and I'm sure they want to, to know all that deal stuff. Deal with that, so, but, so shame on you, Turkey. Don't change a clock and don't tell me, oh, that's not good. So the bottom line is, is that if you want to register for the English Turkish, it's not on the website yet, so we've got to do that as soon as mm -hmm. possible as and well. Can I, can I tell them about this one? If you want. Yeah, so as you know, we have two wonderful spiritual creatures from... Uh, Siberia, born in Sochi, and they came two years ago. Today, their nephew is coming. And I'm very excited. And so maybe next pod, oh, video, next video, we will do it in a part of the house where we can show this Maybe, nephew. but it drives nephew. everybody crazy. I don't care. I don't you think I care if it drives them crazy. Mm -hmm. They drive me crazy. Yeah, so then it, if it drives you crazy, you have to just turn it off and don't you know, write don't, in don't and tell us. Go to another video. If you don't like my no the noise in my house or what's going around me <laughs> or what pictures are behind me or if my nose is this way, that way, go someplace else. I really don't care, all right? You all annoyed me with your stupid comments and that's why the United States is so effed up because of people like you. Okay, because you're interested more about what color my my eyelashes are instead of what I'm telling you. Okay, I'm done with my rant. You are. Yeah. Anyway, happy New Year, happy New Year, everybody, and I really, really hope that 2021. Like, how could it be worse? Well, I guess it could be it worse. Can be worse. We could it be can Chinese be by the end of next year, you know, because if Biden steps in the White House, it's all over. You might as well put the lid in your coffins. And not just the United States, the whole freaking planet, okay? Now, let me just tell them this. I have very high-level people, as you know, telling me, well, Biden is going to be in, and that's the way it is, and blah, blah, blah. And then the other people, also high-level, saying, absolutely not. So, you pick. What's in the middle? I don't know. You me. Are. Maybe I, Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm going to be the new president. That's the surprise on January 6th. Mm. Well, that's all for now, and Happy New Year, really Happy New Year, and I will and we will see you next week if the world doesn't end. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.